Uh, hello guys, welcome to the stream. Just wait for people to fill up and everything catch up on the iPad. Can't physically see myself at the minute to catch up with any chat, but if anyone is watching, hello. Hello. Tommy CM, good evening, good evening, you okay? Good stream by the way, uh, video, starting to really come together that park now. It's just I wish we had the counter where you wouldn't have to split the park up into, into two, but um, oh well. Blue Box Gaming, welcome. Becky, hey, welcome. So just in this stream, we will be revealing the results of the water park. Matty, hey. Um, and then I thought we'd have a bit of a Q&A um, to see what you guys want, really, um, for future contests and uh, anything us as mods could do to maybe improve certain things, maybe, or anything like that. So... Um, yeah, I think we're, we're going to just answer a few questions that some of you may have um, and just for the future, really, of where we can go and what direction. Claire, welcome. I'm great, thanks. Really appreciate that 15-minute, mate. Perfect time and agreed the count where it is annoying, but make it work for the down tour. Ah, a bit of trickery in the in the streaming. <laughs> um, yeah. Planet Plip Cam, welcome, welcome. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, just make this tropical backdrop for this, just to f tie in with the uh, <laughs> tie in with the contest. Nice background. <laughs> Thank you. Mad Cadda, welcome. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Wait, everyone is off to KFC now. <laughs> I'm off for a, a cup of gravy. <laughs> right, so shall we get started? So, uh, as you all know, this contest has raised the bar really, really high. And I mean, every single build was creative, different, um, and just, you know, crazy. And to be honest, I'm pretty glad that I didn't enter because, <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't come up with half the stuff that you guys came up with. Uh, yes, sir, daughter's doing better, just last day's antibiotics. And she's home. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, great news. Whoever made this waterfall, I'm so proud. I've just spent the last 10 minutes while watching um, Tommy's CM's uh, video just uh, creating this backdrop just to, just to spice things up a bit because it was uh, looking a bit plain before. So, um, yeah. Right, so yeah, we'll just uh, crack on, man. So, first of all, um, the contest voting was very, very close, where there, at one point, was a tie at first place. Um, but obviously, because we're doing uh, a point system that, you know, you get a certain amount of points for first place, second and third place, that um, luckily, like, the second place points added up, so there wasn't a tie, which, you know, made to be a winner a second place and a third place and I think that's why we we you know incorporated this kind of point system so it was a bit more spread out and you know it wasn't just that everyone was voting for one like now you obviously can vote for three people um, but I, I must admit the, the voting was very hard <laughs> um, but yeah so without further ado 
We'll go for third place. Drum roll, please. So in third place was Colin Best. Now, if you haven't managed to catch up with the streams, uh, Colin Best did a kind of like a world's water park with three different areas. Um, a kind of very Chinese kind of area which uh, had a water coaster in it. Very immersive. Um you know, with the lighting and everything. And then he had a Moroccan kind of area with market, which had a, a water ride in it. And then he did a very European kind of area with another water ride in it. Very creative and, you know, really nicely put together. So, yeah, really well done, Colin. Uh, Mavs fam, his park was great. How he split the areas was really well done. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Congratulations, congratulations, Colin. Well done, Colin. Yeah, uh, that Asia section was amazing. Yeah, it was. And the lighting, I mean, the full package, really. And, yeah, really great work. Um, so and then in second place, we had TJ Puffs. And, again, with his park, he went very resorty, water parky kind of park. You know, it was... I believe based off of Volcano Bay, I think it is, um, water park where he had the, the Volcano Mountain um, and then obviously water slides and he had that amazing dark, dark section on one of his water rides. But yeah, uh, TJ has been knocked off his podium of first place and... Uh, <laughs> gone down to second place which is you know a great achievement as it is but he's finally been knocked off his uh, podium and then in first place can I get another drum roll please in first place TJ is glued to those podiums <laughs> he is but in first place never been a first place position I can proudly say first place was our very own Clary Bread so a massive congratulations to Claire as well and as Plips just said first and second place was decided on the third and second place votes so like I say TJ and Claire had the same number of votes uh, for first place but obviously Claire must have had more second place or third place votes which has put her just, just ahead but yeah Claire went a very Disney park um, kind of water park you know very inspired by characters from Disney she had a uh, Ariel and the Little Mermaid section and then she did a Peter Pan kind of hook area and she did another area but I can't remember <laughs> um, but yeah just great artwork that she does um, throughout all her parks and you know terrain work lighting crams a lot into a, into a park and she's upgraded to a PS5 so she had to stick to that 66% um, kind of mark which uh, is easier said than done I think but um yeah, they're your three winners of uh, the water park contest. So, normally, at this point, we would uh, explain what the next the next contest is, but you already know that, and most of you were uh, cracking down on uh, working on that already. But um, I thought I'd do a little Q and A today. So, you know, you give me some stuff that you might want to see in the future. Um, and me as well as the mod team will take that on board and uh, you know try and incorporate that into future contests it doesn't have to be contests as such it can be stuff on the discord if you wanted um, so yeah if you've got anything to say please fire away great job everyone difficult contest to judge but amazing creations from all. Well done, top three. Well done, everyone. Some amazing entries. Blue Box Gaming finished it. You finished the next contest build already. 
I'm somewhat of a psychic now. Time to set up a premium number for fun. <laughs> Real Rhino, well done everyone. Three worth winning. Worthy winners, sorry. Definitely the best contest we've had done in terms of quality. Brilliant from everyone. Yeah, I mean, every contest we do, the bar just goes higher and higher and higher and it's just, it's just mad. Like, I thought I'd seen it all and then you guys just spit out something even better. Uh, Midway Games. I want to chuck in a firework contest. Maybe in for New Year. Oh, okay. So, Tommy CM is thinking Midway Games. I mean, we have spoke about that in the past, but we we wanted to get the main ones out. But that's definitely on the cards. And a firework, especially for New Year, could be could be a great idea. Like uh, me personally, I've never touched fireworks, and I know there's a few other people who've attempted it and failed. Um, I think TJ was <laughs> one of them when I spoke to him last. He said, "Oh no, it hates fireworks." Um, workshop is flooded with midway though. A contest to see who can build the best Horton Towers. <laughs> Tommy CM already won. <laughs> Uh, workshop is flooded with midway games. Mm, I think it's thinking outside the box with midway games. You know, um, obviously you've got your main ones like uh, Knock 'em Down or Horse Derby or you know um, basketball hoops, whack a mole stuff like that. It's just you know, I mean we could make it work. We'd have to sit down and really bang heads together and how we could do it. Mad Cadder video game mini park. Oh, they are so hard. Would make a good contest though if it's difficult. So yeah, going back, do you guys prefer smaller base contests, but frequent? So you know, one every few weeks or whatever. Or do you prefer a larger scale contest, which takes you know a month to do? and have like one a month maybe or would you like you know a few smaller ones and then one big one and then go back to a few smaller ones uh, it's just thinking ahead really and uh, what we could do Mad Cadda wants to mix it up smaller for sure says Colin uh, Jam Ravioli Dart Ride Contest see Dart Ride is another big one uh, obviously with Halloween coming up we were going to do a dark ride but obviously with this water park being quite a big contest a dark ride can be quite time consuming and we were very you know short space for time so we've decided to go a bit smaller scale and a bit different but um, dark ride is definitely up there dark ride contest uh, or a sci-fi theme park as not many on the workshop that's decent to be honest sci-fi so again so you would if we were going to do a big theme sci-fi I'm guessing you'd want it as a park uh, what does Plip says custom ride contest so when you say custom ride you mean make your own flat ride that isn't actually you know usable by guests Mavs fam also Claire pretty much covered all of them in the winning park. <laughs> yeah, Claire did have a lot of uh, a lot of midway games. To be fair, and I know Plip's done a couple of midway games in his uh, collab park. Obviously, I've I tickled with midway games at the start of my uh, Planko experience, should I say? That ride contest would be interesting. I think smaller as it takes a lot of pressure of you guys sh showcasing them. Yeah, so from from the results, what we've seen is obviously we started off with the flat ride contest. And I think off the top of my head, there was roughly about 30 people um, over the both the consoles who got in, involved in that. You know, people, you know, like that flat ride, it was quick and we could showcase it within one stream because we were all blueprint size and then obviously we went a little bit big scale 
with a mini park contest um which you know still a lot of you did get involved um not so many on the roller coaster one and then quite a few of you especially on the playstation side got involved in uh, this water park one so these are definitely things we're going to take back you know and us as the mod will speak about it and you know it's just trying to get what you guys want um because i think that's very important like obviously we have have the final say as such to to implement what we're gonna do but i think if you guys put in a bit of input what do you guys actually want and then we can try and you know build up a contest around what you guys want as well so uh yeah like a drop tower custom plip you're not allowed to enter the drop <laughs> uh smaller is more manageable uh time wise yeah i agree a uh, random question when planet zoo comes out would you all play the uh, play and enter contests oh so also with what plips just said there with um planet zoo what are people feeling about um the new jurassic park game that comes out at, i think the end of the year or whatever would you guys transfer over to there as well or are you hardcore planet coaster players and planet coaster all the way <coughs> a what would john wardley do contest <laughs> so anyone who doesn't know john wardley um was the brains behind some of all towers main rides nemesis oblivion and that kind of stuff um amazing amazing mind you know an amazing architecture for rides so that that could be very interesting mad cadder is a hardcore planko player i think i'd be more interested in planet zoo i've already pre-ordered jurassic world evolution but playing both still claire would get zoo but probably not jurassic world it depends how they how they do jurassic world i think like the first one there wasn't really little small bits to build you couldn't build a custom i don't know shop or anything like you can in planco it was all pre-built stuff um you know different game mechanics really so yeah i think i'll get it and play with it but i'll probably still I on plan as well a lot. Anyone thinking is it too late to enter the Halloween contest? I have nearly done in three evenings. Get it done. <laughs> Jam ravioli. I would get zoo, although my heart is with Planco because of being a coast enthusiast. It sounds and looks fun though. Yeah, I mean it's I mean, I'm hoping, obviously, at some point there will be a Planko 2 using the engine that Planet Zoo uses, you know, better textures and stuff like that. So that would be nice. And I think, I hope they're honest with us. Uh, for us console players, like, they kept a few things secret when Planko came out, like the, the counter, um, along with other little bits. But can always hope and you know fingers crossed that you know one day they'll uh, combine both games into one game and have a a zoo theme park that that'll be my dream anyways if a contest idea is up for suggestion i would say something like that moomin 100 item thing would be cool give a selection of pieces and see what you come up with okay so uh, if you say that so say we give you three types of wall pieces you know a few columns i know a few bits and bobs and just go 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 and have fun and try and uh, build something is that what you kind of mean with that mavs because that could be interesting because we want to keep it entertaining but also a challenge as well um so yeah plip 
think that's something we can um, take back as well. And do you guys prefer rides or coasters or do you prefer non-ride things to build? Like, obviously, I know, like, Claire loves doing scenery, rock work, stuff like that. Um, so would you guys prefer a non-ride based thing or do you like a mixture again or do you just want a ride kind of theme good idea but hopefully longer than an hour to do lol <laughs> I mean, I think if we do that as well, get your guys' feedback of picking maybe a few items, you know, and the the items that you guys pick with the most votes. Are so, so if we give you 10 items to use, those 10 items could be voted upon by you guys in the community, which you'd want to use, but then we might, you know, throw a span in the work and take one of those items. Like I know the spooky beam is, a, is an item that, you know a lot of people use to build anything we could take that out and you'd have to s and substitute it for something else to make it even more challenging maybe madcada ride base preferred right what about rock work contest <laughs> i like ride base things personally although i'm happy with both ready set build contest console edition i can ask moomin If don't die fencing and green leafy bushes isn't part of the hundred, I'm not taking part. <laughs> so yeah, these are definitely things that we're going to have to take back and really work on for the next contest. Um, as for contests themselves, is everyone happy with how they're they're going at the moment? So for example, like this. I know it's there's no money or anything involved for the winners, but are you guys just happy with you know having your your stuff presented like this um, with trophies, and then obviously in Discord you get your trophy next to your name um, depending on what position you come in. Um, obviously, there isn't a lot more like if anyone who has won who wants one of these trophies to put in their park um i know i've got these ones here and i think plip you've done some trophies for xbox so feel free to ask one of us if you wanted to incorporate that in the discord medal is probably the coolest part <laughs> yeah i think i need to get one of them medals <laughs> The medal by the name is perfect. Brilliant. I've tried to email Frontier that they would ah, we just haven't given up now. So everyone's happy with just the medals. I mean potentially round if we do it, I don't know if we're going to do a contest over Christmas. I don't know, but I'm sure there will be something going on. Um, you know, I might surprise the winners once just just for Christmas, you know, and, you know, some sort of gift card maybe for the top three, like a 15, a 10 and a five pound gift card for first, second and third place just for Christmas. You know, obviously, um xbox and playstation i'll just buy it and give you i'll just message persons the code with it um so that may be something i might look into just for for a holiday special um and then obviously you can spend that gift card on a on anything you want whether it's a dlc or another game or whatever so maybe as a christmas bonus if you are good and you're on santa's good list <clears throat> um, already added part from Claire I'm getting the Halloween one lol I can't remember how to do it clip 
Yeah, Plip did try and get the DLCs from Frontier because sometimes they hand out keys with the DLCs, but um, they never got back to us, unfortunately. Um, but that was the original idea. So we will try and keep it entertaining and try and, you know, we don't want your building to go unnoticed. Obviously, you get, do get featured, and we'll continue doing that, and you'll get your medals and your trophies and that, but you know you give us content we'll try and give you something physical back or but yeah christmas bonus keep your eyes peeled for that and um we'll see what we can do with that but yeah great idea tommy yeah i don't know how i could do it i think if you just buy a gift card so if i bought you know £30 worth of gift card, a £15 one, a £5 and a £10 one. Um, and then I could just private message someone the code. So first place, I could private message them the £15 one. And I'm guessing Xbox do the same with gift cards. I know they have the Xbox Live, and whatever, I can't remember. I've never been an Xbox player, but I'm sure they'll do gift cards with the same kind of process, like... I think £500 via bank transfer for the winner is fair. Oh, yeah. 250 for second. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be broke within a week. Yeah, I might, I might have to uh, jump in that contest. <laughs> and if I win, Matty, you have to give me 500 quid. Deal? <laughs> I think I remember while well, you work in an airport winner sh Pfft. I don't even get free flights. <laughs> TJ will be a millionaire by the time the contest. I mean how many has TJ won? Has he won two? Won two and came second in two? He got no, he won the SpongeBob didn't he? I can't remember. But yeah, these are these are good comments. So um, he's medically trained. Oh yeah, I'll uh, I can do free physical for the winner. I can do that just about. <laughs> Worthy top three every time. He is. He is. You guys need to find his weakness and then, you know, give us feedback on uh what he's not good at and we'll have to try and base a contest around that <laughs> cavity search for second <laughs> cavity search for second I know what you could win you could win a first aid kit I've got tons of them you know <laughs> TJ's at work at Monday but I've just messaged him to let him know he's got second place Thank you for that. I think he said to me we're going to catch up with the streams at some point. Becky Richard, fireworks. Yeah, he did say he wasn't good at fireworks. But he said he only played with it for 10 minutes. Spoiler alert, blue box, but... So yeah, guys, that, that's pretty much going to wrap up the stream then. It was just a quick one, just trying to get your feedback on stuff. And if you do think of anything else that you haven't said already, just throw them in on Discord. Just uh, either message us privately or, you know, make it public and tag us in it. Because we write all this stuff down and, you know, keep it in a in a safe box, such to say, and we go back to things and try and, uh, you know, pick them apart and try and make them how they'll be fair and how we could work so yeah it's just feedback because this contest is run by you guys okay yes we might spotlight your stuff and make certain rules for contests but I say this every time none of this would be possible without you guys what a nice stream thank you again everyone so much and well done to all around circle voting yeah so congratulations to the three winners but um you know congratulations to everyone because you've all worked really hard in creating some amazing creations and uh yeah we'll uh, see you in the next one whenever that'll be uh, so yeah thanks again guys see you later